Greetings. This is a message to the wannabe passport brothers, but let me first explain to you guys that even though I left the United States um, over three years ago, I, I don't I, I don't consider myself a passport brother, but I understand the movement. The passport brothers, the original passport brothers and this has been happening even before this movement started. These are a group of men who decided based on a lot of factors, they no longer wanted to deal with women in the United States. So they are going abroad to wherever they go to find um, marriages and relationships. Those are the passport brothers. They got the money, they got the right to do that. That's their business. But then you have travelers. You have guys who are latching on to the passport brother um, concept who aren't passport brothers. I'm going to say this again. Passport brothers are men who are frustrated with their options in the United States who want a real relationship, marriage or relationship, long term. They can't find that in the United States. That's not saying there are no good women in the United States. They're saying that they don't want to go through all that and look for to find in the weeds and find her. They decided because they have the resources and the means, they're going and they going wherever they're going to get it, okay? And they're doing well. But there are some guys who are um, traveling, and they document stuff on YouTube and they going for sex tourism. And unfortunately, in Colombia, it's very sad to say, man. And I feel sorry for them. I pray for them. And I pray for their families, all their loved ones that left behind. So people have lost their lives. Okay. In Colombia, man, um, guys, you're not paying attention. You cannot go somewhere where you don't speak the language, get on these apps and get set up by these women. And you claim and you're a passport brother and you're giving, listen guys, don't travel for sex tourism. It's dangerous. Even if the woman is not dangerous, the people she deal with is dangerous because they believe, even if you don't have no money, they believe that you as a foreigner, you have some money, you're traveling. And you bringing a woman into a place where you're going to sleep. Your hotel, your Airbnb, and at some point, you're going to go to sleep. And have this stranger in your house. She's probably going to drug you before you go to sleep. And call her friends and have them come and rob you. If the drugs don't kill you, you don't have a passport, you don't have any money, how are you going to get out the country? Now you got to reach out to your family. Hopefully your family have enough money and the resources to house you while you get to the embassy, get a new passport, wait on the passport. Right, listen, man, it ain't worth it, guys. Don't latch on to being a passport brother if you're not a passport brother. Don't travel for sex tourism. I wouldn't recommend it, guys. I would not, I would not recommend that. But to the passport brothers, more power to you. Keep doing what you got to do. Do what you need to do to be happy, man. And all you guys who latching on to this shit is dangerous, man. It's dangerous. You go into a foreign country and you playing a dangerous game. You're not a passport brother. If you're not looking for love and a true relationship, don't play that game, man. Don't play that game, man. You gonna have a lot of hate in the country to where you going somewhere making videos, exposing their women, their culture, and talking about how easy women are. You got this for this many pay. Listen, man, stop playing that game. Fuck out of here.